The ever-expanding Marvel Cinematic Universe has now extended into our own homes with the Disney Plus shows. And boy, have they been disappointing the masses. Clearly, they set out to do a lot between the Avengers Endgame epilogues for old characters and introductions to brand new characters. But many of the complaints, including rushed finales and undercooked ideas, stem from one massive problem. The shows are too short. With the exception of WandaVision and What If, probably the two shows that do give the right amount of material, every show is a mere six episodes long. And while there isn't necessarily a magical episode number that a show needs to be successful, the end results make it clear that this short running was clearly not the intention. In fact, Falcon and the Winter Soldier was reportedly supposed to be eight episodes long, so why wouldn't it be safe to assume this case for the rest of the show? But, if that is the case, then the question would be, why? Every episode, especially with Disney Plus's incredibly clever one-episode-per-week format, is another chance to bring viewers back to the service that Bob Checks and Balances is clearly putting many of his marbles into. So, why wouldn't they want to make as many episodes as they could out of these ideas? Well, I foresee three possibilities as to why these shows are given such short runs. The first is a lack of faith in the source material. Half of these shows are based on fresh new characters, not to mention centered around niche styles that have either never proven to be a success, like Moon Knight basically being a cross between Indiana Jones and Fight Club, or styles that have clearly proven to be failures in the past, like Miss Marvel basically being an Indian version of Scott Pilgrim. The other half are centered around minor, arguably background characters that couldn't have brought in crowds for a movie such as Wanda or Hawkeye. So, it would be easy to assume that, much like Legend of Korra, part of the reason that these shows are given such a short order is to give them a smaller chance to shine with the hopes of getting a longer second season later on. That's also why something like Miss Marvel most likely crammed essentially two seasons worth of material into one season. But it's only a minor possibility, because if that were the case, then how come a massively popular character like Loki also got the short end of the stick, and why are the Star Wars shows also getting cut off? Disclaimer, I have not seen any of the Star Wars shows since The Mandalorian Season 2, so that's why more of my examples are coming from the Marvel shows. Well, it could also be the second reason I came up with. Troubled Productions. It was reported recently that the VFX department creating these Disney Plus shows went through hell getting these effects together. First of all, that clearly shows in garbage effects like this hippo from Moon Knight or these light power scenes from Miss Marvel. But also, who could blame them? They're given the task of getting out effects on par with the Marvel movies that are generally in production for at least a year and getting them out at a more rapid pace to bring to life more material in a year than they've gotten out in one phase. This six episode structure is most likely one of the ways of them getting around having so much on one plate. Though with as many shows as they're getting out, that doesn't really seem to be helping much. If the effects department ran into this much trouble, one can only imagine how much trouble the rest of the departments must have ran into. But ultimately, I think it comes down to the biggest reason why I think these shows are given such a big cutoff, oversaturation. Oh, I'm not talking about Marvel, though yes, having half of the MCU's running time in Phase 4 alone is extremely more than enough. But mostly, I'm talking about Disney+, Plus, which is making the exact same mistake as Netflix of having so many shows that the average viewer couldn't possibly keep up with them. And while I had little to no interest in watching these shows myself, one thing I did notice in my research of them is that many of these non-tentpole shows are given way more episodes. There's a show called The Wonder Years that has 23 episodes. 23! Netflix would have a heart attack giving a show that much of a run. Yet Marvel and Star Wars are only given six episodes? So, if I had to guess, I would say it's most likely a balance of power. Do we need to invest more money into these tentpole shows and make them more fleshed out and give them breathing room? Or do we cut them short so we can crank out a ton more shows to cater to even more of the other audiences in order to get even more subscribers? You can probably guess which option Disney went with. I get why this works as a business model, as the only way a streaming service can increase their revenue is to bring in new subscribers, but if you're going to advertise these tentpoles so heavily, why not give them at least a little more slack? 
Falcon and the Winter Soldier only needed two more episodes to bring the creator's full vision to life, and I could totally see Moon Knight working a lot better with just one more episode, let alone two. I think you could spare maybe a few episodes of the Wonder Years or Monsters at Work to make that happen. But then the question is, does it need to happen? Well, it sucks that many of the shows that have been in the works for a while have gotten short for the sake of the business model, but if the six episode structure is what it takes to balance out Disney's spreadsheets, it's possible that going forward we'll eventually run into shows that manage to tell their stories more evenly and cohesively within that six episode structure. Miss Marvel I almost thought could have wrapped up in its fifth episode, but it had a pretty fun finale regardless. Loki, from what I remember, could have been shorter as well. It's not a bad structure for the shows with a proper amount of material for it, it just sucks when a show meant to have more material gets forced to reduce its size. Bottom line, ironically to keep this video as long or as short as it needs to be, keep your shows as long or as short as they need to be. Because no matter how much food you have in your kitchen, an audience can tell if they're getting the whole meal or just the appetizers. But what are your thoughts on this? Is there another reason you think these Marvel shows are cut so short? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more great content. I'm CM Waters, and I'll see you soon.